If, if you can get that down block and we down block and we kick out. Welcome to Get Sports Focus. It's week number three, and we decided to come out to watch this great Thursday night matchup between Overfelt and Leland at Overfelt High School in San Jose. They got palm trees there, people. Coach Carlo with some in game adjustments. This game was intense. But first, we got to pay some bills. Get Sports Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth, equity, and investing. Ike's loving sandwiches, championship level sandwiches every single time. I, I eat that a lot. Weightsandbars.com. Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. And by Fuel Good. They got some really good food. Fueling champions, delivering convenience. Conveniently located in Santa Clara off Homestead Road. For more information, go to fuelgoodmealprep.com. Both of these teams are one and one with Overfelt losing to a very good San Mateo squad and Leland falling to Palo Alto. But that was all last week and this is this week and I needed to see this future Spartan. 6'2", 240 pound beast, three star, John Stowers. That's Overfelt's big punch. Here's the speed punch, Deron Hall. He's definitely one to look out for. Nice first down run. Royals will get it in. Four year varsity QB, Gabriel Martinez, more than a QB, tossed it to his man, Taylor Gordon. Touchdown Royals, no extra point made, six to nothing. Leland, they have a stud athlete, meet Luke Whitson. Great effort resulted in an interception to stop the drive. Next possession for Leland. They started to move the ball inside their own 20. QB Jacob Gibson to senior Diego Vasquez. Brought down by Stowers. Yeah, imagine getting hit by him. Next play, gotta hurt. Classic play right here. Perfectly executed. Gibson to Whitson. We used to call this the hitch and pitch special back in the days. Vasquez almost took it to the house. But overfelt Isaiah Smith. Did a good job tracking him down. Stars is a dangerous linebacker. He was being nice right here, but still hit the QB and the throw went bad. No completion. Overfelt took over and they gave it to Hall. Big game. Almost broke loose. Ball in the red zone. In comes Stars. He's just running over dudes. This ended the first quarter right here, just short of the goal line. Second quarter, Overfelt muscled it in. Martinez with the sneak. Followed by Hall, who got the two point conversion. Yes, it's good. 14 to nothing, Overfelt. Next possession for the Royals. Martinez with a sick toss to Smith. I think we need to see him on our super team, Coach Andrew. Overfelt distanced themselves. Hall, I like how he runs. He's only a buck 65, but he'll, he'll like the smack down on you for sure. Touchdown, Overfelt. Extra point effort denied. 20 to nothing with a little over seven minutes left in the half. Royals, ensuing kickoff. Wyatt Markles took the ball from about the 33 yard line down the Overfelt sidelines. Touchdown saving tackle by Martinez. Nice job. Next possession for Leland. They started to move the ball. Gibson from Marcos sitting wide open at the curl. Almost took it in. Next play, Vasquez, touchdown. Chargers on the board, 20 to seven, just before the half. Royals defense, they're tough. Turnover and downs, Jeremiah Lara. Forced a fumble on the sack. Last play. Last play of the half, Brian Pimentel went full on WWE on Martinez right here to close at the half. Leland trailing 20 to 7. Third quarter. That was a big long half, by the way. Leland's freshman middle linebacker, Jordan Visperas. I know his dad, and he's a stud with a sack on Martinez. He's going to be something. Watch out for him. Leland got the ball back, and they found the weak spot on the defense. Gibson to Whitson made it look easy, and that cut the lead down 20 to 14. Overfelt responded. And they responded big. This drive is brought to you by Big John Stowers. 6'2", 240-pound beast, three-star national recruit. 
Saturday Night State is getting a real dumb. Can't say that enough. Same drive. Suolala Niyawafe got the handoff and got it done. 26-14 Royals after three quarters. Fourth quarter now. This game was far from over, but another touchdown run by the man. He's going for that game changer stat. That made it 30 to 14 over felt with, with a commanding lead ensuing kickoff. Gabriel Martinez, he's an athlete, man. Another touchdown saving tackle. Playmaker for sure. Leland would score late to close the gap, 32 to 21. At that time, about seven minutes left. Another hookup from Gibson to Whitson. But the one-two punch of Overfelt was just too much for Ron Hall. An outstanding game. But he's going to have to be on a roll mention because the MVP goes to John Stowers. No stat needed. He got a couple of touchdowns, a lot of tackles. And his presence on the field was just intimidating. We'll get, we'll get it later, but film don't lie. Overfelt with only 26 guys suited up for this game. One big, 38 to 21. You are watching Guest Sports Focus. Enjoy the post-game interview. Tell me about this team. Uh, I haven't seen you guys in a while, but it looks like you guys got something special going on here. Something special. Great young team. You know, we all fly to the ball, all come focus, all play. You know, we all good. Yes, sir. You're a kicker. You're a quarterback. You're a leader. You saved a touchdown there that could have change the game uh talk about just the attitude of this team when it comes to like just getting things done yes sir you know i've been doing this since freshman year leading my team been leading them for four years nothing new just going to continue to lead my team all the way and finally coach and his staff uh, they seem to be a really uh, you know intense group and you know i see them correcting things on the sideline making adjustments um, you've been with them for a while so talk about you know how they've helped you personally and and as far as the game you know great coaching staff you know they help me on and off the field every day uh athletics you know everything off and on and off the field they help us through everything get us prepared every week and we come to go every week coach is well prepared yes sir he's a four-year starter for us and uh, he's just gritty you know he's not the biggest guy but he's a tough leader, you know, and, and uh, we follow him, man. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's our true leader. John's special dude, I could tell. But talk about him and, and his decision to go to San Jose State and, and just, you know, he's, he's been the guy here for the last couple of years. Yeah, he's absolutely, a, he's a four-year starter for us. So uh, he's earned everything. He's earned everything that he's, he's getting. Um, we're, I still push him, you know, I still push him. I, I still want him to, he's such a humble kid to where, he feels like he has to fit in. I'm like, man, you gotta be the big dog. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta carry yourself to be a big dog and, and put your stamp in the game. I'm blessed to have these guys, man. I wouldn't, you know, I'm from a small school, you know, and I'm, I'm very blessed to be able to even have an offer, you know, D2, D3, D1. Blessed to have one, you know, and I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to do it with my coaches and very. My coach pushes, my coach V pushes this a lot. And my coach, my coach Carlos, you know, he's there all the time, yeah. Yeah, it's a very good season, you know. I still don't got most of my guys, I wish, you know. God willing, they play, play pretty soon, you know. Our defense is pretty, pretty good. Blessed to have them, especially my O-line. God bless them, my O-line. Thank you for my O-line. And couldn't do it without them. It's got to be cool running uh, next to, uh, four, and, and, you know, with, uh, John out there. It's it's a blessing to run behind those two boys, the biggest boys I got in the league. We about to win it all, boys. Hey, it was a great win for us. We had a hard loss to Woodside last week. It was a way to bounce back from us. I think we're going to keep going, win games, go to playoffs, try to win CCS, take it to state, baby. I'm blessed. Totally blessed. She saves me sometimes, you know. Saves me most of the time, cause uh, you know I gotta run the ball most of the time. And then I got him, you know. I got I got a little break going for defense and then offense when he needs me, and you know, yeah, that's about it. The community here is they really support what we do here. 
uh, and it's a it's a, it's a great feel, right? Because not every school around here has that that support. Well, he's teaching us everything. That's all there is to it. It's probably the best program out here in the East Side. We love everything. I love my coaching staff the way they push us hard. I love my team. I've been working with these boys all summer, and I'm apply that pressure anytime I can. For us, it's it's from from Monday through front through Thursday. It's it's about family, right? Our it's team dinners. And then the, the family comes out here to support the boys. So we really appreciate the community here. Yes, sir. Shout out to my O-line. Shout you, out dude. to my D-line. Shout out to my coaching staff. Shout out to San Jose State. Shout out to the family. God bless.